This question is from Ryan, Ryan Vanier. Um, my name is Ryan, of course, <laughs> and you probably know what Ryan actually means. So Ryan is, it actually means little king. So that's what, little, uh, that, what, that's what Ryan means. Um, I am looking to begin massage therapy school very soon. I will be taking a massage um, diploma course in the state of Nebraska, which requires 1,000 hours, as well as requiring you to pass a national um, license test. Why I like Nebraska, I can't see myself living here permanently. In your experience, um, or from what I've heard from colleagues, uh, what, what can I do to expect moving from Nebraska to a more populated state such as Florida, or California, or Colorado, as it pertains to getting my state license after I've passed school and been licensed back home in Nebraska? Well, the nice thing is, um, with Nebraska, if it's requiring 1,000 hours, that's actually a huge benefit. Because most states, they might be around 500 to 600 to 750 hours, what they require. So more than likely, you have more than enough hours if you want to go to another state. But the big drawback with that is sometimes the uh, massage schools sometimes have their hands in um, those rules and regulations. So they're saying... They all re require so much anatomy and physiology, or so much uh, hands-on, or so much clinicals, those kind of things. So that can really mess with you, so that's a problem. Um, so what you want to do is, any state that you think about, um, with, that you're going to think about moving to in the near future, or even many years down the road, call them up and ask them, um, this is what I'm going to be having, um, this is all the curriculum and everything else, because most of the states that you mentioned have state boards. So um, you can look on there and see if it will transfer over then. So honestly, it's, you're not guaranteed that's a problem. So you, some people might have to take a few extra classes. I've heard of people having to take a whole massage program over again, moving one state to the next just because it's been so many years or um, all the rules and regulations then. So that's the reasoning behind that. So just make sure, again, um, just to save your glutes, um, no pun intended, um, that you check with all the different kind of states that you're thinking about moving to. But, but again, it's so nice that it is a thousand hours um, compared to, and I think Texas is, don't quote me on this, but I think it's still like 250 hours or something. It's really low. But um, some states, it's just voluntary for now, and they're eventually going to make it um, mandatory for the regulation. In Minnesota, where I, where I live, every single city um, is different with rules of regulations because the whole state is not regulated. We do have the CAM law, Complementary Alternative Medicine Law, but basically what that is, the client has to sign a client's bill of rights, and you just have to keep in their file. So if they want to complain to somebody, they can, can complain to somebody. So um, that's my belief with that. and. Please, other people, um, comment below um, on the section. Thanks.